Looking for Professor Shark Darwin, one. Recently, everyone at Shark Park Children University was deeply worried because Professor Shark Darwin had gone on some Arctic adventures alone and lost contact with them. Little Shark finds the last photo posted from Professor Shark Darwin. On its back, it said, "I am looking for the aurora borealis in the Arctic." I believe I can find the most beautiful aurora ever. So little shark and Minnie decided to go to the Arctic to rescue Professor Shark Darwin. They were really afraid that Professor had already got lost. First, they took a flight to Greenland, then got to the Arctic ice sheet by ship. The region north of the Arctic Circle is known as the Arctic. This consists of the Arctic Ocean, northern Europe, northern Russia, northern Alaska, United States. And northern Canada, due to the extreme cold, animals inside the Arctic Circle are scarce. Vegetation is mainly composed of lichens and mosses. Animals include polar bears, seals, and whales. Then there is the Arctic polar night. The Arctic is covered in darkness for half a year with only stars shining in the sky. Oh, it is so cold in winter at the North Pole. Eh? Is that a light ahead? An Inuit man appears and warmly welcomes them. The Inuit people live by hunting seals and fishing. In winter, they live in igloos. Their summer residences are sealskin tents. Thank you for your kind entertainment. Do you know where the man in the photo went afterwards? Oh yes, the old man with a green hat. I remember. He said he wanted to find the biggest aurora and went further north. Great! We finally traced our professor. After saying farewell to the Inuit uncle, they headed north. They held up lanterns as they walked on the ice. Suddenly, an aurora appeared in the sky. Little Shark and Minnie were deeply enchanted. Wow! wow. It is so beautiful. Oh. Oh no! Don't be afraid. Are you students of Professor Shark Darwin? Yes. He saved my child, and I owe him my deepest gratitude. Oh really? So, do you know where he went then? Didn't he tell you? He heard that the South Pole, which lies on the opposite side of the Earth, also has some truly amazing scenery. So he set off on his Antarctic exploration. What? <laughs>